back to the nature, LMAO 15. Apologize for the wind that's hitting the microphone, but when you're out on the open fields, that's what you get. Hope you all didn't get too scared by the Halloween monsters that were all over the place when the spirits were ascending. It was a bit of a scary piece of narrative there, but uh, don't worry, it will get a lot scarier than that. Anyway, so we're back in chilly season here. penetrating into my bones and trying to take me away, but as I'm born of the earth and I'm walking all across the tilled soil, I hear they're planting some grains for the winter. I wonder how that's going to work out. So, What happens on the open fields? That's a good question. On the open fields, you get to see the whole expanse. From the lowest immediate surroundings that all the little animals of Earth are seeing to the broader median that animals besides with me and my dog are seeing and then the higher can also be seen from the tree outwards reaching across the valleys across the hills giving the perspective of the birds in the sky so in open spaces and on highlands and on mountains there is a lot of expanse and when there is a lot of expanse, uh, there is a great outward perception all about. Awareness becomes externalized out into the world. That is uh, specifying awareness, so-called uh, the positive, the extrovert that goes out into the fabric of the world, into the appearance of the world, and seeks to somehow transform it, or to illuminate it, or to otherwise interact in some sort of a give and take manner with it, hopefully matching its actual nature. The problem we often have, and in fact that's the biggest problem in this cursed egocentric world of ours is that people take this positive current of luminosity of conscious essence and turn it into something self-serving while in fact the self and the other are the same not that I am the identical brain as you are, etc., but the principles, the active dynamics are the same, both biological and psychological. Again, you have different kinds of wiring, but basic computer hardware is actually the same, compatible if only you calibrate the software. Well enough. We'll head backward because the wind is getting high and it's going to be hard for you to hear when we're speaking on high hills with a lot of hum. So we'll head back into the inland. Not to the Finland, because that's too cold for you, but to the inland, just a little bit. Inwards from all the outer expansion. I mean, you can go there, you can go so far. Here you have the realm of the birds. Upper there. Still some flying, there are a lot of geese here, some seagulls, and there are the windmills with the element of air. That's the high sphere in terms of the Gaia, our planet here. But then you can go still higher, now you have clouds, you cannot go much higher except uh, through your psychic eyes. Uh, you can go 
and you can perceive the expanse of Earth and its environs, the Van Allen belt, the moon, etc. from a higher perspective. And then you can go higher from Earth and perceive the planetary system and the sun, a heliocentric entirety. And you can take that as a context. And you can go out and out and out into the farthest reaches of the galaxy and find the same old pattern in infinite permutations from the sub-elemental particles like uh, quarks and gluons, photons, electrons, neutrons, making up the atoms. There was a jump there. Uh, neutrons, protons are composed of elementary particles. They are not elementary particles in and of themselves. After combinations, anyway, you got the sub Molecules, when molecules combine again, you get stuff like cells and so on, the biological building blocks of life come together. And with that, there is a sense of life that comes into the entirety, which is from the positive side of our dark and bright energetic material. E is MC2. So uh, you have these two sides of the equation. The equation of our totality. I hope I'm not just uh, filming the black jacket for you here. But if I am, it's actually good for you because the black jacket takes you inward. A white jacket would take you outward. Anyways, back to the ladder. It's like a Jacob's ladder or Jack's beanstalk or whatever Sumeru Danda you want to call that uh, step-by-step process of conscious ascension and dissension that exists uh, in our reality. Anyways, so we covered subatomic, atomic, molecular, uh, biological, then we came to the psychological and uh, out from the psychological dimension you of course, uh, that is the Biological, psychological are the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 basic uh, aspects of the subjective 0, 0 embryonic cell. Then you have the natural cell, 0, 1 uh, observing environmental cell that connects uh, with nature, with the cycles of the seasons, and so forth. Ah, oh, not the Then you have the interactive self that reaches out to other living beings in order to have exchanges. One zero that mediates the social sphere. So you have the self, the nature, the society. And then you have the universe, the greater sphere above you that governs the solar system. Again, a sphere in which the solar system is merely a component. You go from the solar system to a galaxy of stars, and then you go into clusters and you go into super clusters and you go into Yuma Yamayo into some sort of a cosmic pool of membranes vibrating, oscillating, touching each other, and then you have the realm where you have a luminous root from upside down that mediate the uh, one field of uh, potential forthcoming. Anyways, that may be a little bit metaphysical for you and for moi, but don't worry about it. It's whatever is out there in the fabric, in the space, in the nature, is also in here in awareness and in the biological matrix of the human being, as above, so below, say the high and say the low, are all. That's the gist of it. High and low are and all.
the beginning and the end. The seer and the seen and the median mirror in between that we mention every now and then because the whole, whole point is actually right there and right there, which is right now, always in the transparent experience of reality and expression of what is the suchness, tatata, and the samata, the sameness in the suchness that connects all the different aspects of the apparent fragmented existence together. So, opening up my spine is good to open up your spine now and then, especially if you do a lot of computer work or other sitting work. You can imagine that you're angel or something when you open up your broken joints, all right? Go for a Uriel, Mikhail, Raphael, Gabriel, or whatever, if you like to dance and imagine while you're dancing. It's a fun thing to do, to dance with nature and the seasons of nature. And for example, go and climb a tree. I'm going to climb a tree now. But before that, we go on a commercial break. We have some. Oh! <laughs> Business to tend to. Thank you.